Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my home. I got a bag of goodies here. So I went to a Dollar Tree. It's pretty far from my house. It's about 30, 35 minutes, not pretty far, but far enough. And I got some footage. It's a fairly large store. Um, it's one of those Dollar Trees where if you're looking for it, you're probably gonna find it at this Dollar Tree. So let's get right into what I got, why I went there, all that good stuff. So my mom needed a few things from the Dollar Tree and I said to her, why don't we go down to this other one? It's far enough away. It was a, a few weeks ago, it was my dad's one year anniversary, as we call it, of his home going to glory. My dad passed away last year I cannot believe I remember sharing with you that my dad passed that has actually been a whole year. So we got together with our family, our little family, and my older two kids and my mom took her out to dinner. We went to Big Lots while we were down there and we hit this big Dollar Tree. One of the reasons I went in, and I will have an up and coming video for you of changes I've made in my stockpile. I've been making some changes. This girl's making changes and I am changing as a person. Our family is changing what we eat, what we like to eat, what we don't want to eat anymore, what foods we're using and so on and so forth. With that being said, my stockpile has changed quite a bit. It has evolved. So that video is up and coming. But one of the reasons I went to this Dollar Tree, not only to take my mom, but I wanted to scope it out. I wanted to see food supply chains, how it's doing, what do they have? What are they lacking? Are they lacking? And also with the fall coming, the fall and the winter season, at least for us here in New Jersey, do I re need to replenish things in my stockpile? What does this Dollar Tree have to offer? You'll get to see some of that footage in just a few moments. I picked up a few things while I was there. I would say most of it's practical. Some of it's a little fun. And you know, our my channel and a lot of our channels that you see me in collaborations with are all about frugal living and being on a budget. But I'm the first one to say that I love to buy things. I love to spend money, but in a frugal way. So going to the Dollar Tree, I can pick up a few treats once in a while with not feeling like I've overdone it. So I'll show you the practical, then I'll show you the treats. I love these particular bags. I don't know if you've ever gotten them. You can see it right here as the woman holds it up. Let me take one out for you. If you need storage bags, like I put my wreaths in this and then I hang them on a nail in the basement. If you wanna store like um, hats, gloves, and scarves for the season and put them away, bathing suits, things like that. These are great when you go on vacation for carrying things. Uh, any kind of storage. These are, I, I've used these for multiple reasons. Now this is the large and it's a big giant glorified Ziploc bag. So here's the large. It is a Ziploc, it has the handle. You get two of them in the box, so two for $1.25. Um, the bottom is just as is, so it's it's flat. The extra large, the bottom like folds out so it sits flat, but these are, these are heavy duty, like they're great. Or like even in the car, I like to carry blankets and pillows, you know, in case you get stuck on the road in the winter. And I like putting stuff in here just like that. These are fantastic bags. So you might want to check that out and add that to your shopping list if you don't have those. They're great for storage. And if you're doing decluttering and you're following my decluttering or 20 weeks that we're doing, some of that stuff, this is great to be able to store and reorganize. Okay, some other practical things that I got or pine saw. I like pine saw. I like pine saw, the pine smelling. I don't like the lemon. And I have not been able to find the pine pine saw. I keep finding the lemon. So the Dollar Tree had these and they are, I got two of them. And um, I recently saw, and I've never really, to be honest with you, I grew up, my mom washed our floors with this and I'm hooked on the smell but it says it's great for cleaning carpet stains from, you know, the dog peeing on the floor and on the rug. Yeah, our dog has a habit of doing that. This will take out the, the scent so that they hopefully don't go back to the same spot. And also it is great for your laundry for disinfecting and brightening and freshening up your laundry. So I got one for the laundry and then one for Graham to use in his stash of goodies. Picked up dental floss who doesn't need some dental floss now and again 
And what else did I get? Let's see. I picked this up. I am multi-purpose adhesive. Now, this is sort of a, not so much frivolous, you know, practical, but I probably will use it in my crafts. But it says, good for wood, paper, and fabric, dries clear, non-toxic, washable, safe for children. Um, I don't have to worry about the children part of it. But it looked like it had it has a tip on it and it has a dual applicator. So the one side is thick, the other side is thin, if you can see that there. So I thought I'm gonna check that out and try it out and see what it, that's all about. All right, let me take a few more things out of the bag here and then I wanna explain my fun things. And what else do we have? Hang on, hang on. Okay, this one is a cross between practical and fun. So this will bridge our gap. All right, we've done the practical. So now we're kind of in the middle. So I picked up three. Let me show you all three, three, three colors. So I got the chicken, the beef, and the vegetable. And it is a powdered bouillon. So there's your chicken bouillon. You can see it in there a little bit. Then here is the beef bouillon. You can see that in there a little bit. I think that's kind of cute that they got the cow on there. And then this one is the vegetable and they don't, yeah, it's real tiny at the very, very bottom, you can see it. But this is a, there you go, There, that's a good view. I don't know what they're like, but I wanna try them. And the reason I wanna try them is I'm doing gifts in a jar for Christmas this year. So one of the things I wanna do is make homemade soup. Well, I, I'm all about practical. And I have some friends that are vegetarians, so I thought I could use the vegetable broth I can use dehydrated rice, dehydrated vegetables, and they can have a nice, I'm gonna be making it for a service, uh, a jar for one. So a family for one. So if it's a family of two, I'll give them two jars. I'm either doing couples or singles with this particular item. This isn't for families that I'm giving away. But I have a number of friends that are single friends. So I thought, how cool would that be to do a gift in a jar of soup, homemade soup, that they can make and I'm gonna layer it. And some of them are vegetarians. So I found a, I've never seen this. I always see the beef and the chicken, but I don't usually see a vegetable powdered bouillon. So I'm excited about that. So it is practical, but it's on the side of fun as well because I'll be using that as a gift. Then the next thing I got was, this is the fun stuff. I got just a little door, door hanger. I love the trucks. I'm gonna cut this tab right here off and then I'm just gonna hang that on either my hutch door or my door going outside. I have a tray, it's a wood tray I leave up year round and it has dried fruits and stuff in there. And I've gotten some wooden acorns and wooden leaves I've put in there and I leave it up year round. I'm a pumpkin acorn girl, all that kind of stuff year round. But I found these little trinkets. Look how cool they are. It is um, an acorn and they're all in different colors. So I thought I'm gonna add that to it and just leave it in there. Then I picked up this, which is uh, Shore Living. It is the brand Shore Living that they have there, but it, it's just little wood beads and it says wood bead garland. And I wanna use this upstairs in our library. My husband has done it more of a nautical theme and I thought that would look nice on one of the bookshelves and it comes with these little mini anchors attached. So we'll be using that. And then the last two things I picked up were pumpkins. Yes, this girl's gotta have her pumpkins. So I have a garland that is going up on my fireplace and these are clips. So you can just clip them right on there. I don't know if you can see that little clip there. There you go, maybe you can see it moving. So these are green ones and they're fabric. And then these ones are like a faux leather and they're brown and I just like the earth tones on that. It'll go great in this room. So they're going up. So just a simple haul, just a few fun things that I found and a few practical things that I found. And again, I was there on the hunt looking for stockpile items, things that might be cheaper there than even Walmart or ShopRite or Stop and Shop. So kind of, you know, balancing it out. Don't need a lot of stuff. Oh, I just got a massive haul from a food swap that we do. You know I've talked about it. We just did it again. It's probably the biggest I've gotten maybe ever. It, it's, it's pretty good and I've given a ton away and swapped it out to other people and we're rotating that good stuff. So 
without anything else to say today, I hope you have a great day and I'll leave some pictures and footage at the end.